Hey guys, a very warm welcome back. Today's episode is going to be part three of the puzzle building series. We're going to be running through even more puzzles that are causing you guys headaches, providing you with the solutions so you can rest easy and sleep at night. So let's not waste any time here. Let's get straight into our first puzzle, which is this one called Steel Heart. Now the lack of space makes this one quite difficult to achieve. You're going to need to use heat guns instead of your heaters on the top side. Otherwise you won't have enough space to split them to make sure you've got sufficient supply of materials into each of the mixers. So using them heat guns at the top before you finally export the finished steel product into your exporters. Changing the bottom synthesizers to carbon so you get the correct input right and this should give you the solution you need. You can see on the right there that it says 8.77. This might be a minor bug with the latest issue, but it does work as we've just proved there. The next one we've got here is called confusing and we need to create iron plates, rods and steel chains in order to get the solution on this one. So first up, we're going to focus on the steel production on this left hand side here. Put our mixer down and then belt this across all the way into that press. We're going to need to heat it up otherwise it's not going to be hot enough by the time it gets to the press and we're also going to need to place down a ice gun just before it reaches the cutter so it gets to the cool enough temperature now just to ensure that we've got a nice supply of steel we need to craft the second part of this and that involves the usual process again but making sure to turn this heater away so it doesn't get in the way now the final element of the steel chains involves the mechanical assemblers so we're going to put two grabbers and two mechanical assemblers on the very end here before carting them off and getting them into the exporter so that's the steel chains element sorted next up is the iron rods and we're going to use this heater here to start that process we're going to put a press straight out the heater belt this round like so before finishing off with a cutter and an exporter that concludes the iron rods element the final part is the iron plates and all we need to do to do this is put another synthesizer down right here followed by a heat gun and a press into the exporter. Give it a whirl and we can see we've done all the necessary parts to complete the puzzle. Next up we've got bad, just bad. Now this looks like one massive headache, but it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. You can start off by snaking all these belts down. Now that's our iron ore line sorted. Next we're gonna need carbon to produce the steel plate. So we're gonna use this synthesizer here, belt this all the way around the outside in a similar fashion. Like so, now once you've got your belts in place, we're then going to use a fast long grabber to grab the iron and a regular grabber to grab the carbon. The iron ore is going to be placed in this heater right here, whereas the carbon is going to be heated up by this heat gun. And we're going to finish this off with a bit of belt here and a final press. Give it a whirl. And we can start to see that iron ore trickle down and that carbon make its way around to the bottom before being accessed by these long grabbers and finally into the mixer itself. This next one's called Thin Steel Plate or Thin Steel Plat because they couldn't fit the name on the end, but nevertheless, this one looks like it could be really difficult given you've only got one line of space to make all the necessary steel plates. But fear not, it is possible. We're gonna build this outside in. We're gonna use the synthesizers as normal, followed by these heaters. Now we're gonna put a mixer right here, but on the other side, we're gonna use some underground belts to feed 
the carbon into the mixer itself and in order to get the hot steel outside of the mixer itself we're going to use a fast long grabber to place it into this press before finally exporting make sure your long grabber is in the right place give it a whirl and voila this next one's called second puzzle we're going to need to produce copper plates copper rods and copper wire so we're going to get to work on this bottom row first which is going to be part of the copper wire production put a heater down and we're going to need to utilize some ice guns to be able to make this work within such a small space So we've got our press in place, we're then going to use the cutter to turn them into rods, followed by a heater and the extruder to turn them into copper wires before finally exporting. Now that's going to be half of the copper setup. We're going to need to use two because we need a 1.22 output. So for the second line we're going to put our synthesizer down, split this off, heat them up and put some presses down. That press is going to form the plate production. This one's going to help form the rod production. That's going to be cooled down by that second ice gun, followed by a cutter and an exporter. And this long grabber here is going to utilize some of the output from that heater up to the top, where we're going to place a second extruder and feed that into the exporter. Make sure we've got the correct inputs. Give it a whirl, and there you go. So there's another load of puzzles, guys, to get your teeth into. Hopefully this helped you out if you have been struggling on them for a while. If you are struggling on any other puzzles, do let us know in the comments and we'll try and do a part four video of this series. Nevertheless, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.